Hi, this is Molly with Jump and Rope, and I'm here today with one of our lead trainers, Trevor. Uh, we're here to talk to you today about what to do next when you purchase your rope. Uh, the rope we're going to talk about specifically is the R1 speed rope. The speed rope comes in a coated or an uncoated cable. Uh, when you receive your rope, you will get an actual completed speed rope. It comes with an 11 foot cut of wire, um, both of the patented technology speed handles, of course. Um, one of the ends of the wire comes crimped. The other side comes with a sizing collar. The sizing collar allows for you to adjust the rope um, on the fly when you need to. So I'm going to give the completed rope to Trevor. He's going to unwind it. Along with the speed rope comes uh, an accessory bag of an additional 11 cut foot of wire, two extra screws, and one extra crimp. Okay, so you've unraveled your rope. It's very long. It's 11 feet in length. Uh, for some people, this might be the right size, but for the normal height person, it's going to be very long. So what we'd like to see is for you to stand on the rope. As you can see, the handles come up to his head. So he's going to move in one direction until the handle becomes under his armpit. Perfect. What he's going to do now on the other side is he's going to move the other handle down the wire until the top of the handle goes under his other armpit. Perfect. Once he finds that spot, he's going to securely hold on to the spot that he found on the other side. Perfect. Then he's going to drop both handles so he has some free hands. Now what he's doing is he's going up to the top. He's going to take his Phillips flathead screwdriver and he's going to loosen up the sizing collar. By loosening up the sizing collar, he can now slide the collar all the way down. Perfect. Now that he's found the spot that he measured, I'm going to suggest that you add about two or three inches on top of that to allow for some adjusting space. So he's going to go about two, three inches higher. He's going to take his Phillips screwdriver and, and tighten it down. And once that's tightened down, he's going to take his wire cutters. He's going to cut the wire. Perfect. He's going to grab his handles off the ground and he pulls it up to his armpits. It looks like a good form and fit. So now he has an excess piece of wire and this will allow for him to size up and down um, depending on you know what his form looks like and what the rope will feel right for him. Now that his rope is assembled, there's one important thing that I need everybody to remember. And this is the most important thing, is that there are two dots located on the swivel piece end of your speed rope. The dots are only on one side of the swivel and you want to make sure the dots are facing towards the crimp or towards the sizing collar. So if we want to take a look, we make sure the dots are facing the sizing collar and again the dots are facing the crimp. If the dots are not facing out then this could become, uh, become a problem for your rope and you need to ensure that these dots are facing out. So now that we have our rope, uh, one tip from our coaches to the CrossFit athletes out there, it is suggested that you leave the sizing uh, collar on here because depending on your workout of the day, um, your fatigue or your form could be changed depending on what your workout is. So this way you're able to adjust your rope on the fly. Thank you for tuning in to Jumpin' Rope TV. Stay tuned for other instructional videos.